Hi friends, we all like decorating our houses because the house is where our heart is. Home is where we like to be after an entire days of hard work. Hence, we want our house decorated with the best furniture and decor. So, would you not be interested in owning a home decor company? We will take it, a company which is in the home decor space as an education example for understanding fundamental analysis. The company's name is Kajaria Ceramics. Let's have a look at the synopsis of the company first. Kajaria Ceramics is a home decor company with an interest in tiles, bathware and wood products. The company is on the aggressive capex plan which will lead to next phase of growth. The company will also focus on its exports business, expansion of its dealership network and strong ad spending to gain market share. It has strong margins, return ratios and free cash flow which will support it during a downturn in demand. It trades at an average valuation on the valuation band and there exists a demand zone at Rs. 970 to Rs. 898. Kajaga Ceramics was formed in technical collaboration with the second largest tile manufacturer to digress. It has a tile capacity of 82.8 million square meter across 8 plants. It recently ventured into the sanitary wear and faucet businesses with a capacity of 0.75 million and 1 million respectively from one plant each. Kajaria Ceramics holds around 10 to 11 percent market share in the overall industry. Through its subsidiary Kajaria Plywood, the company folded into the plywood business offering wood panel products. Retail and institutional businesses contribute 75 percent and 25 percent to the total revenue respectively. Ceramic glazed vitrified tiles and polished vitrified tiles contributed 40 percent, 30 percent and 30 percent each to net sales respectively. Kajaria has an extensive distribution network of 1,600 dealers and aggressive brand spending. The company has been on an aggressive capital expenditure plan since FY19 to FY22. The company has expanded its total capacities from 68 million square meter to 82.8 million square meter over this period. At Gilmore Ceramic Wall and Floor, capacity was increased by 4.2 million square meter. At Morby, Polished vitrified capacity was increased by 4.4 million square meter and glazed vitrified capacity was increased by 3.8 million square meter at Sri Kalahasti. The company has chalked out a growth strategy for its business, which is as follows. It has planned to further increase its Sikandrabad facility for bigger size glazed vitrified tiles from 8.4 million square meter to 11.4 million square meter per annum. Existing capacity utilization is 100%. The expansion for Rs. 800.5 million is likely to be completed by June 2023. Its faucet plant in Gilpur is adding a new capacity of 6 lakh pieces per annum at a capex of close to Rs. 50 million, which will take the total capacity to 16 lakh pieces per annum. Kajaria Mahathir Private Limited would invest up to Rs. 700 million in Kerobin Global Private Limited to set up a sanitary wear manufacturing facility having a production capacity of 6 lakh pieces per annum in the state of Gujarat. The company has also decided to set up a JV with various individuals affiliated with Ramesh Corp Nepal to set up a manufacturing facility in Nepal with an annual capacity of 8 million square meter per annum. The investment for this JV would be Rs 1.25 billion. Local production will enable the company to substitute imports and gain better margins. The company plans on adding 400 to 450 dealers in the next three years. The company has acquired Kosa Ceramics and shifted from polished vitrified tile to glazed vitrified tile to focus on export markets. However, the anti dumping duty imposed by Europe at 10% on India could be a near term challenge. Based on a secondary research, the tiles adhesive business is targeting Rs 500 million revenue from adhesives in FI23. Kajaria is currently facing a demand slowdown. Based on our secondary research, the company remains confident of 15% volume growth in FI23. It expects demand to return gradually as the festive season ends. As per consensus estimates of various brokerage houses, the next two years would see double digit growth in volumes. Realization growth is estimated to remain muted. Margins will gradually improve as Kajaria steadily moves towards LPG and improves its product mix. Based on a secondary research, the company's EBITDA profit after tax growth 
are estimated to remain at more than 20% over the next two years. The company has maintained a reasonably good working capital cycle, a return ratio of more than 20%, free cash flow and negligible gross debt to equity ratio, which will provide comfort to it in a demand slowdown. Key risks of an investment in the stock include a possible slowdown in real estate, intensifying competition, fuel price volatility and threat of Chinese imports. The stock has corrected from the highs of Rs 1282 and currently trades at Rs 1025. At current market price, the stock is trading at 29 times FY24 consensus earning this net. On the PE band, it trades at an average valuation and there exists a demand zone at Rs 970 to Rs 899. And that's it folks, this is Veeraj Shah signing off. Happy investing. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing. Thank you.